Christopher's Dyke, the longest earthwork in Britain. It runs from Sedbury Cliffs on the River Severn to Prestatton near the estuary of the Dee. It is 170 miles long. This film explores the 23 mile section between Kington and the small village of Newcastle, travelling the Shropshire Welsh border. Offa, the King of Mercia during the last quarter of the 8th century, constructed the dyke in order to mark out and control the western border of his territory. Mercia rose to prominence during the reign of Penda. However, Mercian power waned in the later years after the West Saxons defeated Ethelbald, leading to Ethelbald's murder in AD 757. The Orn raid seized the throne, but was quickly removed by Offa, who went on to rule for 39 years of expansion and conquest. We can argue for and against Offa. He came into conflict with the church, but like many rulers, he used the church to expand his power and influence. But what matters most is that he was one of our folk who has survived in history because of his pioneering spirit and vision of a great kingdom, unlike the rulers of our time. Let the historians do the arguing and let us marvel at the mammoth task of constructing Offa's Dyke, a task carried out by Englishmen without the aid of modern machinery. I vowed to put aside thoughts on historical argument and instead enjoyed the walk alongside one of the great marvels of ancient engineering. This section of the Offa's Dyke path takes in some of the most wonderful scenery and the views from the Shropshire Hills are stunning. It's both a physical and a spiritual journey, treading in the footsteps of Offa and our folk. actually stand on the dike and look down or more importantly if you stood at the bottom and looked up you could see how difficult it would be or even impossible to get a horse up here or any kind of uh, wheeled vehicle such as a cart uh, you could climb up but uh, large movements of people with belongings and horses would be almost impossible to scale the dike when it was uh, when it was built. It's amazing to think that this old old oak tree wouldn't even have existed when Offa's dike was built.
half past six in the evening on Sunday, just before the bank holiday. I walked uh, probably the best part of about 18 miles today from Kington through Knighton, which is where I was planning to stop. Uh, but the weather is going to turn a bit sour tomorrow, so I hear. So I've cracked on, headed out through Knighton, up some pretty steep hills to be honest. It's not mountainous terrain obviously. But it still uh, gets the old legs working a little bit. I'm going to crack on for about another hour or so. Get a campfire going. Find some wood somewhere to get the, uh, the tent set up myself away a little bit of wild camping. I've seen some beautiful countryside. Some beautiful countryside. This is uh, perhaps uh, one of the spiritual homes of the English, even though it's just on the border of Wales. King Offa, ruler of Mercia, building that dike with a little bit of help uh, from a few hardy Englishmen, no doubt, to control the borders of his land. Stirring stuff. nine in the evening. Had a fantastic day at the moment. I'm just cooking my tea. I'm sitting right on top of Offer's Dyke. Hail our folk. Hail our folk. Strike out for the place you are yearning Try to keep straight, you're always turning Walk in the way of the sunlight, going home Don't put off until tomorrow What needs to be done, we don't follow Darkness falls and go by the light of the 